So we're out here at Station 47 today. Uh, I stopped by for a workout with uh, Spiker and Lineman, and now we're going to talk a little bit about uh, post-wad nutrition. I know you guys have heard it all before, but we're just going to give you an idea of something uh, you can do that's quick and easy, and probably my most favorite post-wad meal. Uh, remember, as you guys heard before, and there's a lot of different uh, things out there on post-wad nutrition that you have a 30-40 minute window after you work out to get as many nutrients as possible. Uh, think about your body uh, being on steroids for a half an hour after workout. What that means is when bodybuilders are doing steroids, that opens up all their cells to be able to take food in, nutrients, and the only time as normal people we get that chance is after a workout. So at that time is a good time to stuff in as much food as you want. If you're a paleo or zone, a lot of paleo people and zone people will not zone this and just stuff as much food in as possible. Uh, I particularly still like to zone my, my food. Uh, so I'll have a little milk. I don't have milk in the day, so I'm going to add some water to get some good protein in. and a protein shake. Now, I'm not gonna try to say buy this protein or that protein, just a good whey protein. Uh, there's tons of kinds out there. I'm kind of a cost-effective guy. I buy the cheap stuff. Just try to get as little sugar as possible in that because we know sugar is our enemy. All right, now for my carbs. I was actually introduced to this uh, originally, I think, by Brian Lindemann for the 2009 CrossFit Games, and at the time I laughed at it and said it was like baby food, but it now became one of my favorite meals in general, not just post wad So we're going to get a sweet potato, and we're going to go ahead and open it up. You can keep the skin or not. Peel off as much as you can. I'll leave some of the skin on there. Take your applesauce, preferably uh, all natural, no sugar added. Now again, if you're uh, zoning this, you can measure it all out to get your exact four uh, blocks, or you can just toss them in. I'm going to mash it all up. The one thing I don't have here with me is maybe find some cinnamon. Give it a little more flavor. As you can see, probably doesn't look the best, but trust me, it's phenomenal. Uh, the cool thing about this is, if you're in the fire station, you can make it quick. Also, if you are doing uh, competition type stuff or you're going to the gym to work out elsewhere at your local CrossFit box or gym, you can pre-make this, put it in Tupperware, put it in the refrigerator, and use it any time of the week. And that with a bottle of water or milk that you have protein after. Quick and easy, you can keep it in your car, in your gym bag, uh, or in the fire station. Uh, there's a lot of new information out there on fat. Uh, a lot of people go ahead and throw that in right away. Uh, I've been playing around with the idea that when you uh, take your fat in, it slows down your metabolism of the rest of this food, and that's kind of a bad thing because you want this stuff to get to your muscles as quick as possible. So I've been playing around with the idea is after I have my post wad meal, I'll wait 30 to 35 minutes after eating it, and then I'll grab my almonds or my fat and take it then. 